tiny elves are visiting an old couple at the shoemaker's shop. What are they doing there? The elves and the shoemaker. Long ago, a shoemaker lived in a village with his wife. They were very kind, but very poor. Oh, I'm nearly out of leather. You only have enough for one pair. The old man planned to make the shoes the next day. He cut the leather and went to bed. The next morning, the shoemaker had a shock. A wonderful pair of shoes had been made with the cut leather. What? Who could have made these shoes? I've never seen such beautiful shoes. The shoemaker displayed the shoes in his window. Soon, a beautiful lady entered the shoemaker shop. These are indeed very lovely shoes. I'll buy them. The lady paid twice the normal price for the shoes. The shoemaker could now buy a lot more leather. That night, before going to bed, the shoemaker cut the new leather. I can make two pairs of shoes with this much leather. The shoemaker was so happy that he hummed while he worked. The next day, Two pairs of shoes were sitting on the work table. Oh my! Amazing! These shoes are as nice as the first pair. The shoemaker and his wife were very happy. That morning, as soon as they opened the shop, a gentleman entered. Oh! Very handsome shoes. I'll have both pairs. The gentleman paid generously for the shoes. The shoemaker was able to buy enough leather for four more pairs. The shoes were made the next day and the next day after that. The shoemaker soon became rich. The shoemaker and his wife were very curious. Who was making the shoes for them? I'm so curious. Who is coming at night and making the shoes? Dear, why don't we stay up tonight and watch? That night, the shoemaker and his wife stayed up. They hid in the shop. In the middle of the night, the window slid open. Several tiny naked elves crept in and began to make shoes. Right away, the room was filled with a hammering sound. What on earth? Elves! The elves made the shoes with great skill. At dawn, they swiftly disappeared. The grateful shoemaker and his wife decided to give the elves a gift. These elves had no toes, so they must be cold. I'll make them some, and you can make them some shoes. Ha ha ha! I've never made shoes so small. The shoemaker and his wife made tiny, charming clothes and shoes 
for the elves. That night, the elves came as usual. But on the work table, there was no leather for shoemaking. Instead, they found tiny clothes and shoes. <gasps> what are these clothes doing here? Look at these shoes. They were a perfect fit. Now I'm a real dandy. I won't be making shoes anymore. Oh my god. Oh, I Can you see that? Oh, 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 <laughs> Dancing with joy, the elves disappeared wearing their new clothes. After that day, the elves never returned. The rich shoemaker and his wife continued to make shoes and lived happily ever after. It seems the elves were very skillful. How could they make such wonderful shoes? <laughs>